Hello everyone, welcome. As you may know, Cinema 4D just got a new update and this new update has great modeling improvements and new tools. I will start off with the most important one in my opinion and it is the new normal editing tool along with the updated funk tag. This tool basically gives you a lot of options to alter polygons and vertex normals which we didn't have previously. In the older versions we were limited to funk tag only but now we have full control over the normals. This tool is really important because it makes it extremely easy to weight normals of an object and this is exactly what we need in mid-poly modeling workflow. If you don't know about mid-poly workflow, as you can guess, it is between high-poly and low-poly modeling workflow and it is heavily rely on weighted normals. By weighting polygon normals, you can get perfect bevels without adding too much geometry. This workflow is great to create game props and models in a very fast way because usually you don't need to bake high poly onto low poly models. If you want to know more about this workflow, I highly suggest you to check it out and soon I will start to make more tutorials on it. Now let's see this tool in action. I'm gonna add in a cube, make it editable and grab all the edges and bevel them. As you can see, these bevels don't look that good right. But now we have this great tool. All I need to do is select these large polygons and weight them. So select them, then right click, click on normal editing, and then I'm going to click on from selected. Close this, click off, and here we go, looking perfect. And the good part is that you don't have to do that manually because we have this new updated font tag. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Z a few times and I'm going to click on my funk tag, change my style to angle and area weighted and I'm going to increase up my funk angle and here we go, the same result. Now I'm going to show you this on a slightly complex object. I have my mesh over here, now I will make a funk break selection to grab all these sharp edges and then I'm going to bevel these out. So let's select these, then bevel these out. Then I'm gonna click off. As you can see, the result is not looking very good. But with this new tool, we are gonna be able to weight these polygons. First, let's reverse the normals. Then I'm gonna click off and select everything but the beveled polygons. Then right click, open up normal editing tool. I found that if you click on hard first and then click on from selected, it works just great. Then I'm gonna click off and you're gonna see the result. Perfect. Obviously this is the longer way. The shorter way is the font tag as I showed you in the previous one. So let's try to do that as well. I'm gonna click on the font tag of the cube, this cube. Then I'm going to change its style to square area weighted. And I'm going to bring this up just a little bit more and it's going to look great. So as you can see, there's a longer way and shorter way. We're going to probably need this longer way to have more control over the complex shapes. But for such objects, the funk tag, it looks like works great. And if you look at the wireframes, the mesh is relatively very light. As I said, you can model objects quite fast in this workflow, I guess. I modeled this under 30 minutes with all the bevels and weights. And I guess the most important thing is that your models will look the same across the other 3D packages, such as Blender and Unreal Engine. The second most important update, in my opinion, is the new updated. Vamp Manager. So let's go over here, Character Manager, and open up the Vamp Manager. First, let me show you what I got in the scene. On the left, I have this scanned model, as you can see. On the right, I have this low poly mesh, which I made with the remesher. Now, let me bring back my material. So, with this new updated Vamp Manager, I will be able to transfer UVs along with the materials. To the low poly mesh with the new evaluation method which is called nearest polygon with data breaks 
So I need to put the default one in source and the target one obviously is going to be the low poly one. So I'm going to put this one over here and I'm going to click on UVs and materials. Then I'm going to need to change my evaluation method to nearest polygon. And all we need to do, click on transfer maps. Here we go. It is that easy. Now let's talk about the new pattern selection tool. This tool is extremely easy to use. Let me show you. First, I will go into polygon mode. Then I'm going to select these polygons as my base selection. Then I will come over here, selection, and click on the new pattern selection tool. These arrows will show up. All I need to do is select one direction to repeat the selection. So in this case, I want to repeat this to the right. So I'm going to click on that right arrow. Then I need to decide how many repetitions I want. In this case, let's say 10. Then I can change the margin. Let's set this to one. It looks like we are going to need a little bit more than that, like 22. Then click on apply. Perfect. And the good thing is that we will still be in the tool, which means that I can click off and click on that arrow. And then I need to change my bit count to something like 11. And that's going to be it. I'm going to hit apply. And here we go. Up to that point, we can go ahead and let's say we could make an inset. Then use fit circle tool. I'm going to make and inset another one and move this in. I'm going to hold down control, extrude these two times and delete them. As you can see, the process is quite fast. And we could do also offset selections as well. All we need to do is select this. Then selection, pattern selection. I want to repeat this to the right. So I'm going to click on that arrow change the margin we are going to need more of these like 16 then i'm going to click on apply then i will click off then I click on that arrow that's going to be it again we need to change the repeat count to let's say eight and click on apply perfect let's try to do the same thing and in sets circle tool Another inset because to use these as sporting edges to make the edges sharper. I'm going to make another inset so that I could move this in. Then I'm going to hold down control, extrude this two times, and delete the polygons. That was just a quick explanation of the tool. We just stretched the surface. I am sure we could make more complex and advanced selections. And I am sure I will be doing these in the next tutorials. These updates so far are the most important ones, in my opinion. We have also small updates as well, such as the new projection deformer and a new surface smear mod for the brush tool. So that's gonna be it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you I will see you in the next tutorials. I will be using these new updates and new tools. Bye.